Hello everyone, it's Hannah here from Virtually Fluent. Today we are going to look at some useful phrases for a very important skill in English, which is booking appointments. Now, today I've only selected a few key phrases, but if you'd like to learn even more, such as booking appointments and meetings via email or cancelling appointments and meetings, you can check out our appointments course. I've left the link in the description below. But for now, let's get started with those key phrases for booking appointments. So we're going to start by reading a typical conversation between Hannah and a receptionist in order to learn some key phrases. So let's have a read of this. Hi, my name is Hannah and I'm calling to book an appointment to see Dr. Filson. Of course, could you just confirm your full name? Yes, it's Hannah Wilkinson. Let me just get your details. So this is the opening of any telephone conversation or in-person meeting where you're trying to book an appointment. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is provide a nice greeting. Of course, this could be hi, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, hello, anything appropriate for the formality and the time. Now, the next thing you want to do is introduce yourself, give your name. My name is Hannah, I'm called Hannah. This is Hannah speaking, all useful phrases to introduce yourself. And finally, we want to say why we're calling. I'd like to book an appointment to see. I'd like to make an appointment. I'd like to see. And of course, add in your pleases and thank yous to sound nice and polite. Next, the receptionist or whoever's answering the phone will most likely want more specific information for you. This could be your full name, your date of birth, your address, your postcode. So listen out for those kind of questions. Could I just ask your full name? What is your full name? Could you confirm your address? And of course, you'd go on to confirm your own personal information. Now let's move on to the next part of booking an appointment, which is arranging a time. So let's return to our conversation. The receptionist might say, what days work best for you, Hannah? Hannah would respond, I can do Mondays and Thursdays in the afternoon. Does that work? And the receptionist, yes, we have 3 p.m. this afternoon. So you'll normally get two types of questions. One which is very open-ended, what works best for you? What days suit you? What times are good for you? Or you'll get something more narrow-minded where they offer you a very limited time. Are you available at or could you do 4 p.m.? Our working hours, our opening times, are only Mondays and Thursdays, 9am to 5pm. So you need to listen very carefully for which type of question they're asking. If they give you a nice broad option, like in this conversation, what days work best for you, you can respond with the days and the times that work well for you. Let's take a look at the next part of this conversation. No, sorry, I can't do 3 p.m. I have to pick up my daughter from school. Could you do 4 p.m. instead? Yes, we also have 4 p.m. available. That's great, thank you. So in terms of rejection, you still want to be polite. No, sorry, I can't do. Sorry, I'm not available at this time. No, sorry, I'm working then. You don't always have to provide an excuse. Uh, 3 p.m. is a little bit difficult for me. Any of these phrases would work. And of course, then you want to counter offer. You want to provide the times and days that do work for you. For example, could you do 4 p.m. instead? Could you do slightly later? I'd prefer Friday instead. Or how's about Saturday morning? In terms of confirmation, there's lots of phrases we could use. That's great, thank you, that's perfect. Yes, that works for me, that suits me. Yes, I can do that time. Any of these will work. And the final thing, which I definitely recommend if you're on the telephone and booking an appointment in a foreign language, is to confirm the information. Repeat this back to the person on the phone. For example, so just to confirm, I'll see Dr. Filson at 4 p.m. this Thursday, 5th of March. Yes, that's correct. We'll see you then, Hannah. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 
Now there's different ways that we could ask for confirmation. You could say, so just to confirm, is this correct? Or you could ask them, could you confirm the information please? Could you send me an email confirmation with the appointment? And of course your final greeting, your farewell, thank you, great, goodbye, see you then, see you on Thursday, any of these will work. So hopefully this will provide you with a little bit of confidence in the phrases that you need to use to book an appointment over the telephone or in person. What I do recommend is using the skeleton of this conversation, which I've put on this slide here. You can practice inserting the little phrases that you would say in this conversation just to practice and have something as a, a backup plan just in case. As I said, there are more activities, more phrases for canceling appointments, making appointments online via email, and lots of other uh, fun games and worksheets online too in our appointments course. I've left the link in the description below. You can also follow us across all social media. We have a brand new Instagram account at Virtually Fluent. We have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Pinterest, come and join us on everything. We post lots of free content on a weekly basis to help you learn and improve your English. This is Hannah from Virtually Fluent, bringing English to life.